Bailey has set up a flashy looking fraudulent website but a slick answering service that makes you think you're talking to the bank which issued the check. But it's all a fake, and cops here can't investigate because the bad guys live here in this town near Toronto, Canada, outside of our police department's jurisdiction. They're actually legitimate the businesses that do that. But unfortunately, this was a scam. Jeremy Postasil didn't get burned, but he was tempted. And what could be better, getting paid $300 to go shopping and then being able to buy $50 worth of merchandise at Walmart and spend $40 at the Gap. Your secret shopper duties also require you to wire thousands of dollars via Western Union and MoneyGram. The only requirement, filling out this evaluation, rating your service at the money transfer companies and the stores. The check you're given to do all of this with, close to $5,000, looks legit, but the real bank says it's not. An officer with the real bank in Minneapolis, Minnesota, tells me she's heard from hundreds of people in the last few weeks. In fact, more than $250,000 worth of these kind of checks have come in to be cashed, only to be returned, burning those victims who've already foolishly used the funds. Just remember, any time Canada is involved and you're given a check and asked to wire back funds, it's a scam, period. And now that times are tight, you'll see more and more of these showing up in your mailbox. Betty Sexton, KKTV, 11 News. As always, 11 News is on your side. Our call for action hotline is open Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m.